Hey everybody, it's in the shop with Tom. On vacation, but I thought, you know what, it's time to get catch up. I have a big list of videos that I need to do that I haven't done. And this one is a contractor video with, uh, you know, basically a contractor work vehicle. And I wanted to see what you guys use. And I'll tell you what I've used in the past. And maybe we can compare notes. Maybe we can bump something that's better for everybody. Gonna try to think about trying to switch vehicles again for the hundredth time. Uh, a lot of people are pretty steady. They'll stay with the same kind of setup. Me, I kind of change my mind a lot. I start to look at accessibility, stuff like that. So I'm gonna start from the beginning for me, and I'm gonna tell you guys where I, you know, what I've had over the last 15, 20 years. And then you can guys can kind of maybe somebody will, can put their comments below. And we'll go from there. First thing is I, I start out and I started in business. I actually had a, uh, I actually had a little Ford Ranger I used from time to time. You know, I, I was doing it on the side, of course, in the beginning. Then I went to an Astro van and I ran that for a while. And then from the Astro van, you know, when I went, when I was full time, which I was probably about in year uh, about 2000, uh, had a full size Chevy Express 98. So it wasn't, you know, it was a fairly new vehicle at the time. Ran that for a couple of years. Uh, traded that one in and bought a truck a new truck and then I had a trailer to go with that uh, and then I actually at the time I had a partner at the time too so we had a we had a dump trailer and an enclosed trailer you know each we each owned each one or the other and after that went back to the van for a little while went back to another pickup truck with a contractor uh, cap on it which that seems to seem to work a lot better for me just for the fact, and I'll explain it, you know, about the Chevy too, is just the, the, the Chevy Express van, so I didn't like climbing in, climbing in and out of the damn thing. But I liked the way it rode, and I liked how high you sat up in it. But with the contractor pickup, with the contractor cap, I could open up the side doors, get what I need, you know what I mean? And then uh, it was fairly simple to work with. So that part I liked about it. Now, so that's an option. It always is an option for me because I thought about going back to that, you know, for the full drive purposes in the winter, etc. etc. You know, you if anybody who lives in the in the where there's snow, you know, the vans do not go in the snow. Period. Uh, thought about a sprinter van, it's not gonna work, it's too expensive. I'm not spending that kind of money, uh, it's not worth it, not worth it for me. Uh, like I said, we are very busy, we actually want to run a second or third vehicle. So we want to. That's why we said we got to be economical at the same time. Uh, I've had about, I'd say I've had about four or five Chevy Expresses, and you know, within, within 15 years, uh, two or three truck pickup truck contractor cab setups, uh, and they all worked well. You know, probably the most the the trucks with the caps are more efficient for me. And I'll, there's two reasons why. One reason is I couldn't hear the tools rattling around like I do in the van. Even though I have a divider, I can still hear the tools like in the back, like, you know, if I go, you know, hit some bounces or whatever, you can hear things rattling around. In the truck, I didn't hear that. That I enjoyed, or still enjoy. Uh, another thing too was with the truck, I can open the side doors and access the tools very quickly. Now, it's unfortunate with the contractor truck with the side doors, I can't keep stuff in cases like I want because of limitation for space so that's an issue in the van I can do that keep everything in cases I like cases and when I can uh, I don't like bags so to speak a lot of some tools now some of the companies are coming out with bags I, I may spend four hundred dollars on a tool and I get a you know 20 cent bag I don't understand I don't like that that's kind of stupid so I really want to get other people's opinions you know I want to keep the video short like I said I have a long list of videos that I've been I mean I haven't been doing videos in a while so a bunch of stuff that I've I actually already have uh, like you know written down and thought about and, and done some research on and so on and so forth. But I want to go to everybody else is doing. I've heard stories of people working out of cars and minivans with ladders on the roof. I mean, I want to you know what are you working on it? You know what are you doing? In, in my opinion, personally, you're only as good as you look. So if you look like a piece of crap showing up on a four door Dodge Dart with an extension ladder on the roof, that's pretty much who you are. You know, not saying there's anything wrong with that. You know, you still probably do good work, but, you know, people don't want that. So, I just want to get everybody's opinion. So, like I said, like and subscribe. 
Uh, the more subscribers, the more videos we're going to do. Like I said, I've been kind of lax on it. I've been very, very busy. I have My business is very busy, and we're in the process of, of getting something else going. So I have to, you know, I've been devoting a lot of time to that. Uh, you know, you get home at 8, 9 o'clock at night. Last thing you want to do is make a video. And I, I don't, I'm not one to do video during the day because I'm just, I'm busy. And I, I forget about it or something happens. But uh, stay tuned. And you should have some more videos coming up soon. Like, subscribe. And the shop of time, I'm out.